Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about distance formula. Distance formula is an equation that can be used to find the distance between any pair of points on the coordinate plane. The distance formula is from the Pythagorean theorem, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. In the Pythagorean theorem, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. a squared is also equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And b squared is also the same as y sub 2 minus y sub 1. The distance between two points, whether or not they are aligned horizontally or vertically, can be determined using the distance formula. d is equal to the square root of the squares of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Okay, let's have examples. And in our discussion, let our unit measurement for the following problems be in kilometers. Let's have example number 1. Please help me find the distance from Jose's and Emilio's house. Okay. In our example, we are asked to look for the distance from Emilio's house to Jose's house. Let negative 1, 2 be our point 1 and 8, 10 be our point 2. Now remember, pwede niyong i-interchange yung dalawang yan. So pwede ang maging point 2 is yung 8. Uh, negative 1, 2, and then yung point 1 nyo naman ay pwede nyo kay Emilio's house, which is 8, 10. Huwag nyo lang kakalimutan yung um, kung anong point 1 nyo and point 2. To determine which is your x sub 1 and x sub 2, at kung ano yung y sub 1 and yung y sub 2. Now, let's go back to our example. So, since point 1 natin is negative 1, 2, and ang point 2 natin is 8, 10, so ito yung magiging x sub 1, and y sub 1 natin from point 1 sa galing. And from point 2, ang x sub 2 natin is 8. And then yung y sub 2 natin is 10. Now, we'll, we already have these values. Isa substitute na natin siya dun sa distance formula. So, what's the distance between negative 1, 2 and 8, 10? So, using the formula, substitute natin. So, 8 minus negative 1 squared plus 10 minus 2 squared. So, isolve nyo muna yung nasa loob. So, since meron tayong 8 minus minus 1, that will give us 8 plus 1 squared plus yung 10 minus 2, that will give us 8 squared. Okay, solve din natin yung exponents. So, 9 squared is 81 and then 8 squared is equal to 64. Now, remember, kapag exponent yan, hindi yan magiging 9 times 2, hindi rin yan magiging 8 times 2. Because the exponent 2 says, dalawang beses mo i-multiply yung kanyang base. So, ang 9 squared is 9 times 9, ang 8 naman, 8 squared is 8 times 2. So, that will give us 81 plus 64. Now, i-add natin yung nasa loob ng radical sign. So, 81 plus 64 is equal to square root of 145. Now, sa calculators nyo, pwede nyo nang i-press uh, yung square root of 145. So, that will give us the distance of 12.04 kilometers. So, sa mga examples natin, pwede na kayong gumamit ng two, at least two decimal places. Let's have example number two. Ang problem natin is to help find the distance from his house, which is Apollinario's house, to Diego's house. So, tingnan natin. So, yung ating map is ito. Gano'ng kalayo kaya yung house na Apolinario kay Diego? So, let our point 1 be 212 and then 94 will be our point 2. So, in this given, ang x sub 1 natin is 2, ang y sub 1 natin is 12. And then, our x sub 2 is equal to 9. And yung y sub 2 natin is equal to 4. So, since kompleto na tayo, punta na tayo dun sa ating formula. 
substitute natin yung x sub 2 natin and x sub 1, kasama din yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Substitute the values. So, meron tayong square root of 9 minus 2 squared plus 4 minus 12 squared. Solve nyo muna yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So, 9 minus 2 is 7. Then, square that. Plus 4 minus 12. So, remember, mas maliit si 4. Positive 4 yan minus 12. Magkaiba sila ng sign. Subtract. Then, copy the sign of the bigger number. So, magiging negative 8. Then, 7 squared is 7 times 7 plus negative 8 times negative 8. So, magiging positive positive na yan. So, negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. So, 49 plus 64 will give us square root of 113. So, in your calculators, you can just press square root tapos yung 113 and then the equal sign. So, that will give us a distance of um, 10.63 kilometers. Okay, let's go to our last example. So, si Cardo yung bida natin dito. So, he's asking for the distance from Jose's to Antonio's house. So, gano yan kalayo. So, in this problem, let our point number 1 be negative 1, 2, and yung point 2 natin is 3, 4. Again, pwede nyo yung pagbalik ta rin. Basta make sure na alam nyo kung ano yung x sub 2 nyo at ano yung x sub 1 para hindi kayo maligid. So, ang x sub 1 natin is equal to negative 1 and then y sub 1 is equal to 2 and then x sub 2 is equal to 3 tapos yung y sub 2 natin is equal to 4. So, substitute na natin yung values na yan. So, in the formula, so magiging 3 minus minus 1 Kasi negative yung ating x sub 1. Huwag nyo kakalimutan na may minus sign doon sa ating formula. So, pag hindi nyo dapat ito kakalimutan. Okay? So, 3 minus minus 1 ay magiging 3 plus 1 yan. Then, squared. And then, 4 minus 2 is 2. Then, you square that. Okay? Solve natin yung exponent. So, 4 squared or 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Plus 2 squared or 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Add natin yung 16 plus 4. That will give us square root of 20. So in the calculator, you can just press or pwede ring. I-ano nyo na lang. I yung square root nyo ay kailangan i-simplify. So kung d times 4, kung hindi nyo gagamitin ang calculator, so, yung square root of 20 is equal to 5 times 4 yan. Yung 4 is a perfect square. Pwede na siyang ilabas. And then, maiiwan si 5. Kaya nakuha yung 2 square root of 5. Now, kung ayaw nyo naman ng ganyang sagot, which is fine with me, pwede yung square root of 20, ipress sa calculator, you will get 4.47 kilometers as the distance between the two houses or the two points. Okay, I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwedeng panoorin ulit yung video. At don't forget to practice of my time. Now, if you find this video helpful, press ang like, press ang share, and then mag-subscribe na rin for new updates. Thank you. Have a good day.